Thanks for the help. Thought I was a goner. Name's Darrow. I'm Miles, from the town just down the road. So's this pretty one, Kyra. Other gentleman is... I know, Eugene. He's with me. We got separated a ways back. Yes, and he's the one who cooked up that crazy-ass rescue. Glad to help you boys reunite. Now we gotta get out of here. Reckon we can get one of those vehicles over there running? Where y'all headed? Open road. Town spent. Hoping to find somewhere better. You wanna come along? We gotta get back to our people, but we can go in the same direction for a while. At least until I find another ride. I do believe this motley crew of individuals is embarking on a journey that will forge a long-lasting and meaningful relationship. Chapter 2, Hard Commute. Steel Solutions, create a passage for the view. Felt good to be on the road again. We had no destination, just somewhere safe. Soon we hit our first major problem. The bridge ahead was collapsed. End of the road. Can we go back and try that last turn? Prudence dictates we follow this favorably empty highway and not get sidetracked by the scenic route. Everyone relax. The bridge may have collapsed, but I'm sure we can build something to get across. The construction site we passed a while back had some steel girders that might come in handy. It's situations such as these where I think my lucky stars have been graced with a natural inclination towards the principles of sound engineering and geometric construction. Let's get on with it already. Here's a passage for the vehicle. Here's another new material for your toolkit, steel. This material is heavier and more robust than wood, and it can span longer gaps, but it also uses more resources. Alright, so from here on out, so the first episode actually it, it was like an hour long, and I didn't expect it to be that long. I think because I didn't want it to have an unnatural jump between me figuring things out, so I wanted to include, for example, the little lessons I learned along the way, such as how the uh, how your your lemming-like characters cannot walk around objects such as the signpost, or that zombies can push over a signpost. I didn't really expect that, so I I, I, kept, I kept those things in. But I might I might not do so much uh, of that, so I might start cutting out more of me figuring out problems in the future. Can I move that. Will I count? See if it counts. Yeah, it does. It links up afterwards. Okay, that's pretty cool. I don't think this is gonna work, but let's see how strong this is. Not very strong. Okay, there goes the car. Yeah, that uses quite a bit, too. Alright. I don't think this is gonna work out. Will, will that even hold? Oh yeah. There we go. Okay, so that, that's something right there. Oh, wow, that's that's all my that's all my resources. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? This doesn't even have to be steel, does it? I don't know. We'll see. Girders, maybe, but... Okay. enough. Alright, so middle mouse button will build all the struts. I, that's, that's convenient for me. So I can do like this. I need to combine that or something. Hmm. We 
let it actually support itself by landing on that thing? Yeah, I just need to change up the, um, the number. Alright, so here's the next try, and it works, but it's still over the cost, so we, we, we can't accept this. I may not get all the zombies, but I definitely gotta get the re resources, so I gotta figure out how to make a bridge better. There we go! I got it, finally! Okay, so with a little bit more fine-tuning, this is what I eventually came up with. I, was, I, I don't know, is, is this better to watch? I, I, it must be frustrating to watch me stuck on one single stage for so long, so... So I apologize, I, I don't know how to best edit this video series. Not too bad, if I do say. Good work, everyone! I am obliged to assert that dynamic amplification factors were not within acceptable tolerances here. Come on, Eugene, you gotta admit it's a thing of beauty. Go we'll file a complaint with the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration if you think it'll help. Not bad, nerds. Despite some good-natured bickering, we were making progress, and we found a way to pay Daryl back for the bike he lost. Only problem was a massive gap on the road, and all the walkers hanging around. Just so y'all know, we ain't leaving without that RV. I hear you. Now we just need to find a way across. What the hell was the military thinking blowing up all those bridges? Taking a historical lesson for the Battle of Remagen in 1945, the war was won, but you can't fight everything with sheer firepower. The other side seems to be crawling with walkers. Hmm. Hey, does anybody remember Evil Knievel? Let's build us some ramps. Get both vehicles across the gap. Oh wow, okay. So so I get, I'm assuming they're already in it. I thought I had would have to go and get it. Alright, so let's. Would this do anything? Look, I'm not expecting great success. I just... Okay, actually, they, they go a lot faster than I gave them credit for. I just wanted a bridge that didn't collapse immediately. But that might actually work. It's over now, but let's see if it let's see if it holds at all. Okay, now let's replace these with wood. All right, um, let's try just making it collapse onto. Oops, no, I like that one.
Yeah, this is pretty much what I get with all my bridges. Oh, that's not gonna last. Boom! Alright, so... I'm almost there. Well... It's half a success. So the RV took out the... Station wagons... Is that what it's called? Station wagons... Ramp. I guess when this thing went went co collapse, it brought this with it. Okay. Well, I, I kind of I kind of feared that would happen. Um, so this needs to be this needs to take off more. I mean, it's, it's bad that they're going at the same time, and the faster one's behind, so it, it will catch up. A zombie make it. How, what? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Okay, well, I didn't kill all the zombies, but I made it below the resources, so that's good enough for me. That certainly made a splash. An evil would be proud. A veritable case of vehicular manslaughter if there was ever, if ever there was one. Too much talking, let's move on. These are not gonna be the best bridges ever. Again, I've never actually played a bridge constructor game, so I'm, I'm not I'm not professing like this is the the one tried and true way to, to be cheap. I, I just want to get the badge. That's it. A new ride is all well and good, but you won't get too far without any fuel for it. We needed to find something fast. It looks like our recent vehicular acquisitions are regrettably short on fuel. Does most larger industrial facilities like that one over yonder hold refueling stations for their fleets? We might be able to find some supplies there. That place looks like a damn death trap. Great, let's check it out. I will have to insist on a scouting mission so as to ascertain the existence of any danger to the larger cohort. Said scout may even discover a shorter path by which to cut the distance between ourselves and our target. A shortcut, if you will. Those are fuel barriers up there, right? Huh, seems like it. It could nice them loose. Yeah. And then they'd fall on my head. Don't you worry, son. We'll fix something up to keep you safe. Get Daryl to finish area A and the barrel to finish area B. It's time for a new special command. At waypoints, Daryl can find it, fire his crossbow to kill walkers, destroy fragile objects, or nudge movable objects. Make sure to conserve your ammo. Fragile objects are highlighted with a reddish glow. They can be destroyed through short through shots, explosions, and impact if the inflicted damage is high enough for that object. Movable objects have a bluish highlight. They cannot be destroyed but set into motion by shots, explosions, and impact. Next to Daryl's portrait, you can find the number of shots available for this mission. I wonder if you can shoot your own allies. I, I, I had thought that that was the, the old guy. I don't remember his name. But I was going to try to shoot him first. Alright, so I need to get this to B, and I need to get him to A? Okay. Um, well, let's start with the commands. So he'd have to do that, and he'd have to run the heck away. So like that will maybe knock the zombie into this and knock the, the platform down? Whoops, darn it. Okay, so leave with that, and then do run there. That's it, that's, that's it for commands. Well, he's got two, so I actually, I, I, I want to kill both, I guess, might as well.
All right, now we got to get him across. Can't even see, but all right. I, I don't know. Okay, I mean, no. Why? Why did that fall? Okay, I guess no, it did not work. I mean, it, it, it was heavy, and I had plenty of resources left, so I didn't figure it would work. But it was a good start. For some reason that breaks immediately, and I'm not sure. I think it's because it's just in the wall. Okay, so I need to make that last. So I just probably need to make it go upwards. Well, then if it did that, I might not be able to get... he would have been able to make it without the barrel pushing him over. You should see the look on your face when you run. Statistically speaking, you had a better chance of being hit by lightning than walking out of there with your cojones in full working order. Chris, easy, compadre. You just dodged a proverbial bullet. We have fuel now, thanks to Darrow. Let's fill our tanks and move on. We were back on the open road again, watching the scenery go by from the comfort of our bucket seats. But the euphoria didn't last long. What the? Last time I checked, walkers don't impale people and leave weird symbols behind. While well, I am not familiar with this particular iconography, the sheer ostentation of this ritual site indicates that these acolytes had themselves a dark ritual in the name of some god, demon, or otherwise unholy entity. What a world! Let's get across that ravine and get out of here. We don't want to run into whoever did this. Good passage for the vehicles. Okay. Um. Don't, I don't... There's gotta be something to this, right? To get the RV through, it probably needs to be about this tall. Hmm. 
All right, now I need to build some sort of uh, arch to get through here. Probably steel, I'm assuming. All right, let's see if that even works. Okay. not what I wanted to do. Okay, well that one actually was... good job. That one actually was not as difficult as the previous one. Not not the barrel one, but the, the evil Knievel one. That did work, but I'm still unhappy about the structural integrity thingy. I believe you meant to say structural stress levels, which I can assure you, and as you can see by a continued ambulation, we're well within tolerance. Enough! You want to end up like those poor souls back there? Quiet now! I'm gonna scout ahead. Here's a lesson we learned in those early days. Walkers are everywhere, and if their jaws aren't what's waiting for you around the next corner, it'll be some other surprise. Seldom a pleasant one. People had strange outfits and big trucks with a weird sign, like the ones we saw earlier at the ravine. We sure it's them? Should we try to say hello? I mean, from a distance. No, no, definitely no. No. This is just like when you try to say hi to those looters back home. Rule numero uno. Armed gangs that are into ritual hangings? No bueno. This is, there is precisely one firearm, um, or firearm among the four individuals in our group. Unless you know how we might each make use of 25% of a weapon, I would urge against the armed confrontation. Agreed. Stay put. In real estate, as in guerrilla warfare, it's always about location, location, location. Follow me. You want to trap him somehow? That's a pretty risky move. Just using one of us as bait again. We're done and dead. These people look like hostile no substance. Get miles to the finish area. Crash the enemy car into the pit. Okay. So let's take a look at my commands. So he'll go forward and I guess I need to climb him up and then... Okay. I'm not quite sure what the... Is he jumping or how... How, how is he... How is he gonna get... What? Is that oh that that's that's floor right there. I didn't realize that right here is floor. Apparently, steel just goes through platforms.
I mean, that kind of worked. Uh, why, why doesn't... I guess the game just does not expect me to be bad at bridge building. So it's so like, I'm deliberately making a bridge fall apart here. Um, oh, while well, 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 we're on that topic, I've, I've, there's been something I've been wanting to try. What if I... Do that. <laughs> nice! <laughs> That's just ridiculous. I mean, I guess there's no re less ridiculous than making bridges out of nothing, so... Sure. Gotta admire... Wait, who's... what? Okay, well, okay, I, I, I'm assuming that's a chick's name. Gotta admire your handiwork straining those assholes down in that ditch, but who the hell are you and what are you doing here? Man, we're just passing through and ran these scumbags. Might be one of those, the enemy of my enemy situations. Just promise me you won't do anything stupid. I've got everything here rigged with explosives. Don't worry, we just had to deal with those... what do you call them? Haters. They've been looting, killing, and abducting in this area for some time now. Lost some good people the first time I encountered them. They have an outpost of some kind not far away. By the way, name's Naomi Williams, 249th Engineer Battalion, Bravo Company. Been holding out here since what seems like an eternity. Maybe we'll do full introductions later. Where's that outpost you mentioned? So far, the hardest one I've had was the Evil Knievel one. Everything else has actually been a lot simpler. Naomi wasn't just impressive, she had a fire in her, and the one thing we all lacked. Discipline. Our first joint operation was a house call to a raider outpost. We had muscle now, and we weren't afraid to use it. It's that old gas station over there. Well defended on the surface, but we could gain access via the lower levels. Those were never properly secured. Wanna give him a little surprise? Yep, I've been hoarding quite a bit of TNT. The Old Faithful. 2 Methyl 1, 3, 5 Trenitrol Benzene. Formidable. Are we within our rights to blow these people up? Trust me, they've been hunting down anyone who sets foot in this territory. Still don't know where their center of operations is, but they're into some sinister shit. Let's plant some charges, but we'll have to find a way to trigger them remotely. The one thing I don't have is a remote detonator. Alright, so I decided to make uh, the other chick, I don't remember her name, sound older. So I, I don't know, because now I've got two chicks. Blow up to two enemy vehicles. Get everyone to the finish area safely. There's a new special command on your waypoint menu. Grenades! Now we can throw explosives just like Eugene throws dolls. Look out for the grenade symbol and her action palette. Okay. Well, let's uh, take a look at her. Where, where is she? Okay, she's there. I gotta get everybody to A. Uh, I gotta blow up these things, so how, how does she do that from where she's at? Guess I'd probably make, make some sort of ramp that goes into the vehicles. Gotta make them consistent for now, just so I can see what's going on. That's good enough. Alright, and then... Not that she'll make it that far, but she she has to do this eventually, so... Do I actually have to give you any commands? You'll probably just run straight, right? No, uh, you'll, 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 you'll stop me, I think, and ask for commands, so... Just do it this way. Oh, he can he can shoot too. Do we need to shoot a raider or something? I don't know. All right. Okay, so let's see here. Let's let's work on this one first. Then let's work on this. Uh, let's see here. Um, I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do. How, how, I assume that I have to get the grenades to roll this way, but I have no idea how I'm going to actually do that.
Okay. Well, that lasted. This needs more work. Alright, forget them for now. Let's just see what happens here. Okay, I got the vehicles. Apparently, not all the zombies are there. Are there really 11 in? Oh, there's more over here. Okay. I need to kill all of them with one grenade. All right, let's let's clear this out and start over. Okay, this will go for the zombies, so let's try that. This will try to bounce that like right here. Man needed. Oh, go left. Okay, that's not good enough. we go. Alright, now I just need to get these guys out alive. Okay, my awful bridge makes it, so now I just need to get her to kill these zombies and we're good. Might be too close for a throw, but we'll try from here. A little lower, I'm trying to squeeze, there we go. Then we'll move that down and we will need him. Take a shot first. You might have to climb up to do this one. Let's see if I can hit from down there. Yeah, let's... let's So we've got this grenade thing going down very well. Arrow's climbing up, takes a shot. Oh, he actually nailed it. I didn't, I didn't think, I've been trying so long to get that to work. I didn't actually expect any of that to work. Okay. I'll teach them a lesson they never remember. Could we maybe slow this down a bit, folks? Sometimes the best weapons are ones that deter, not kill. With all due respect, this wasn't a political decision. It was a tactical one. 
Now we're free to conduct our business without any interference from hostile forces. What business? Staying alive. What's the status of your supplies? Kinda running low. I know a place nearby. Too ambitious a job for one person. What if we work together? It just might have everything we need. Naomi's plan sounded like a game changer. Unlimited food and a fortified position. For the first time we had hope. We should have paid a little more attention when she used the word ambitious. This is safe zone 4. Established in the early stages of wildfire and overrun just before the orders for Operation Cobalt arrived. Should be well stocked, provided we can get through. Military rations, I assume. Saw a fellow on TV eat one from World War II. Precisely. Those supplies will not expire in our lifetime. We gotta get down there somehow. Let's jump! Hold up, little lady. We'll need a good mix of speed and caution to make it. We gotta pass for the vehicles. So, let's see here. Let's just make this a massive steel bridge just for a second and, and, and see what we can come up with. It might, it might not even work, because that's... I don't know, we'll see. I don't think this will stand. Will this help? Or just make it worse? Okay, uh, that's one way to get across. <laughs> Let's try some with uh, more, more, more in line with the game resources. Tilt back, tilt back, tilt back, crush him! Yeah! I still get some zombies left that are not killed, but that was actually pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> I only see... One, two, three, but they say there's four zombies left. Alright, well, uh, let's, let's try again. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the RV to, to take the lower route after it crashes. Like I wanted to, I wanted to collapse a little bit so I can kill the lower zombies. I think I made it cheaper, but I killed fewer zombies. Alright. I guess we'll, we'll roll with this. Because I, I spent way too long on this level. All clear. Not really. I see a bunch of them further in the back. More walkers than you can shake the proverbial stick at. Formulating a plan to scare the main objective should include a minimum of destructive force. So whatever we do next, easy on the TNT. There was no turning back now. Potential treasures were within our reach, but there were plenty of ways to screw this up. Some pretty obvious, others not so much. Were you stationed here? No, I was part of a relief and support unit. It was our task to clear the roads and set up secure footholds in the outskirts, at least in phase one. What happened after phase one? It all went to shit. Let's help the others. We need to clear out the camp. I'd advise getting out of here before nightfall. What are we looking at? Room crawling with walkers. Gotta get rid of them if we want those supplies. There are multiple factors at play here. A complex equation, if you will. Adding explosives to the mix might deduct the hostiles and leave us with a nutritional surplus. Alright, let's get moving. Get Daryl and Naomi to the finish area. Okay, so let's take a look at our characters. So I got six bolts. Hmm. 
assume I should shoot that. There's all this stuff here. How many cables? I need to get them to A. So I need to walk this way. Shoot that to make it fall down. Maybe? What's the point of these? Does that build through it? No. So what is the point of these? Well, let's play along for a second. Go up. Go right. Actually, try shooting this and see what happens. And then go right. You... Oh. Go up. Go left. And then go right. So you'll cover him. I just want to see what happens here. I don't know why that suddenly blew up, but okay. I really don't understand. <laughs> That's some powerful crossbow boat. Do I need to support that? doesn't even go through them all. Oh, didn't even notice that. Did you survive that fall? No, I don't think... No, you didn't. I finally get this to work. This solution was incredibly bogus. I don't know if it... I, I don't know. So I, I, w I went ahead and looked up a solution for this. Um, my double grenade was working okay, but I was hoping to minimize the one grenade, and that just pretty much screwed me over because I could never get it to replicate. Uh, but I did manage to get this to get knocked over by throwing a grenade here. Fine, okay, so I couldn't get that to happen again. So I came up with a different solution. First off, we will have Darrow. He shoots an arrow, and now it, it looks like it acts more like a gun, frankly, and I'll explain why in a minute. He'll knock this out with the crossbow, this whole thing will go collapsing, and so she will throw a grenade into it as her third action. Her first action actually to bounce a grenade here. Second action is to put a grenade here. This one, since it's been thrown earlier, will explode and sending this to the left. Okay, so those are her three grenades. So the rest is up to Darrow. When he climbs up, he will shoot this, uh, it, it does actually kind of matter where he shoots, because if he shoots like right here, this 
box will fall separate differently. It'll like really, really be very lopsided. So the so if I shoot like over here, it'll be differently lopsided. What I've done is after he shoots this barrel, he'll go left. Then he'll go ahead and shoot the zombie, which will for whatever reason destroy the platform he's on. And then I'll shoot this right here at that angle. Because if I shoot another angle, it does slide a little bit. I don't know. But by destroying this platform first, this goes ahead and lands very neatly. It's not necessary. By the way, crossbow bolts will kill your ally. Um, so then he'll walk to the right afterwards. And then he will shoot that zombie just to get the extra kill. And then walk to the right. This was obnoxious. I... I, I, I don't know. This, 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 this is definitely not my favorite level. We are now the proud owners of a gazillion buffalo chicken rations. Crackers on the side. But no meds. We'll be passed by a well-stocked pharmacy soon. Found something interesting. Documents like this should be under lock and key, but someone's sloppiness could be our lucky break. Old marching orders. Companies here were supposed to move to a brand new base further west, but they never made it. That base might still be out there, empty, yet most likely well supplied. What if some other company moved in? Unlikely. Papers here specified as a training base for rugged terrain operations, well off the map, and out of the wildfire's zone of operation. So we could be safe there? Road trip! This list was an awful stage for me. I, I don't know, maybe a lot of people had fun with it. I, I did not like it. <laughs> 